There is no other election in New Hampshire to award delegates to the convention. So whether the Democratic National Committee decides to recognize these delegates or not, that's up to them. New Hampshire leaders, both Republicans and Democrats, were unhappy, and they banded together to support state legislation requiring their voters to have the first primary New Hampshire Attorney General Brendan O'Donnell in voter suppression because New Hampshire primary was incompatible with new DNC rules. National Party deemed contest meaningless. The winner will be announced in name only next Tuesday and will leave without a delegate to the Congress in August. It's all about a change to Democratic National Committee's rules that makes South Carolina, not New Hampshire, the first official primary of Democratic presidential nominating cycle. He is the first president in more than 50 years to skip the Granite State primary and run for re-election. 21 Democratic candidates will appear on the New Hampshire primary ballot Tuesday. But incumbent President Joe Biden is not one of them. So who's on the ballot? The DNC instructed candidates to take all practicable steps to avoid participating in the New Hampshire primary as currently scheduled. He ignored the DNC with two high-profile Democratic rivals Minnesota Rep. Dean Phillips and author Marianne Williamson, who is running for the nomination for a second time. Biden chose to skip the state entirely. It's really unfortunate and sad that President of United States has chosen not to run in New Hampshire election. Scanlon told NewsHour, the decision not to do so seems trivial, but New Hampshire moves forward with or without it. Could New Hampshire voters vote for Biden? Enter the writ off Biden effort. It's a grassroots, mostly volunteer campaign run by the president's supporters in New Hampshire. And it's run on a limited budget. Organizers hope recruit thousands of volunteers to stand outside every polling place in state and tell people how right the president's name on ballot. While high profile Democrats in and out of state have vocally supported the write in effort. It has no connection to Biden's official re-election campaign. The goal is simply to give Joe Biden victory. And organizers are lowering expectations for what that victory will look like. A Democrat affiliated with Super PAC told NewsHour win meant he got just one more vote than second-place candidate. How do write campaigns work? Writing campaigns can be a logistical nightmare requiring a lot of voter education. The president's supporters have explained to voters that they should skip long list of Democratic candidates. Look all way end of ballot. Fill in a bubble and type in president's name. Organizers say one thing works to their advantage Joe Biden is an easy name to spell. Additionally, the New Hampshire Secretary of State is expected to allow clerical errors to be counted if the voter's intent is clear. Where Biden.